All right, Bolo Buddies, I have another super cool Bolo of the day. This one is Vintage Puzzles. Wait until you see the original price that these items were purchased for and wait until you see what I sold them for. $1.99. Yes, these were, I think this one says the same thing. It's kind of folded over. $1.99 each. $1.99 each. Okay, any guesses? Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. What I sold them for. I priced them high at $130. They were on sale for $130, and I took a best offer of $100. That's $50 each. These are Char Charles Wysocki's Americana puzzles. One, two, 50 bucks each, $100. I listed them as a lot. I figured that I could be more competitive if they were listed together. That ended up working out for me. These are sealed puzzles. A lot of times people pass these up, um, especially if they have a $1.99 tag on them because people feel like they're not worth much. These can still be big money. Do not pass by these puzzles. Look them up. If you don't see anything like it, Buy it and list it high if you can get it for the right price. So two puzzles going out, $100 plus shipping, and didn't take too long to sell. It was less than a year, maybe six months. I'd have to go back and look and when I listed them. But uh, to me, faster than I expected. So that is my big money bolo coming at you. 1986. And I don't see a date on that one. So from the 80s and still boxes are in great condition. I will put some bubble wrap around these when I ship them to protect them because somebody buying this may just be a collector and may not be going to open these and put them together. And they're going to want the box to be in the condition that they see in the photos. Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. You guys just saw the puzzle that I sold. Pretty cool. But what I really want to show you is some puzzles that go for crazy money. This video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to show you why. Um, when I'm clicking on the item, it's giving me the listing has been removed or this item is not available. So I can click here and I can keep doing this. And I can keep doing this. And every once in a while, I'll do it enough times that the listing will show up. But for the most part, it is just not working at all tonight. I believe this is an eBay glitch. I also have this happen when I'm shopping. And I'm wondering if this could have something to do with decreased sales. Um, I have cleared my cache. I think that's what it's called. That did not help. But I have now pushed this item browser update what, 10, 15 times, and it is not updating. Another thing that I have tried to do is I take this number and I put it here and then I go down and I hit sold and it pops it up for me. But again, when I try to open it, there it goes. See that time it worked. Now I'm going to click on it and it's going to do the same error. So I just cannot get into where I need to get. Is anybody else experiencing this issue? Um, I have updated my Google Chrome, so I don't feel like it's a Chrome issue. I think it might be an eBay issue, but um, I would love your feedback to know if I'm the only one having this problem. I am in the solds right now, but this is also happening when I try to click on active listings. So if people are limited to just shopping on the app and not through the actual um, eBay through like their laptop or desktop that could really limit sales. And this gets frustrating. I'm telling you, like I can't even do my category videos. So we're going to do this a little bit different. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to go in and verify whether or not these items sold, 
But uh, the idea behind this is to show you which items are big money puzzles. And when I show you this, you're going to see that the number one selling puzzle right now is this par picture puzzle. And I really wish that I could go in and show you the photos, but it is not going to let me. So um, stunning vintage par puzzle, $1,950. We have this vintage Elms hand cut jigsaw puzzle room with a view. And if you look at these, these are wood puzzles and I can't, I'm going to zoom as much as I can. Do you see how they're cut out? That is what is special. This is a vintage Elms wood hand cut. Big money. If you see wood puzzles, look them up. If you see this par brand, definitely can be a bolo. It looks like this person um, right here. Uh, the street was never the same again. That's the name of that one. So these are actually different puzzles. You can tell right here. This one was an auction sold for $925. This person hit the jackpot on these puzzles. Look at this. This one, the uh, best offer was taken, 887 Wow, these are all different. Thin Air, $792. So this seller hit the jackpot. If you can find PAR picture puzzles, you are in the money. Now, here is another one. This one is by Parker Brothers Pastime Puzzle. It's from the 1930s, and it is also a wood puzzle. So you're looking for wood puzzles. Those are the big money bolos right here. Let's look at this one. Here's another one. See how they're cut into little shapes. They are incredible, incredible. So this is just giving you an idea of some things to look for. I'm going to keep scrolling here, but you're going to see all of these big money bolos are actually wood puzzles. Here is one of them that's put together. It's called a uh, pastime puzzle moose call by Parker brothers. And again, I wish I could zoom in for you guys to actually see the pieces and how they're put together. It's absolutely incredible. Look at this one. Does it say pastime picture figural puzzle? 1969 Springbok vintage mini puzzle lot. Look at these. And again, I can't go in and verify. I apologize but you kind of get the idea. You're seeing the same brands, same types of puzzles over and over in this big money price range. This is another spring Springbok from 1968 whirling disc. Look at that. How cool is that? More wood puzzles. Here's another Springbok circular puzzle. So it looks like the Springbok circular puzzles also do well. That one's from 1965. White Mountain. Now, one of my Bolo Buddies members just sold a White Mountain for decent money. It wasn't this high, but again, we don't know what this actually sold for. We could take this title and put it into Terapeak um, to figure out the sold price. So definitely keep that in mind. But we're just going to kind of keep looking here. A thousand piece victory gold box wood puzzle. There you go again. Also, it seems that puzzles with over a thousand pieces have a tendency to sell for more. Here's another vintage Springbok circle shaped puzzle. These are Jigsaw Puzzles Springbok circular, but there's six of them here. $312, more wooden puzzles, more wood puzzles. So I'm going to say the top two selling puzzles are wooden puzzles and Springbok circular puzzles. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Now, I did pretty good with my puzzles, and mine was really just unexpected. And sometimes you will find that to be true. Uh, so look them up, look them up. And if you can't find anything really like it, then price it high. See how these are in shapes like flowers? Just really, really cool. And they're wood hand cut wood. And that's another Elms. 
So Elms and that par are really good brands to look for. Here's somebody that sold 62 puzzles and a lot. Like, how do you even ship that? That's crazy. All right, you guys. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I just kind of wanted to go over some of the big money Bolo puzzles to be on the lookout for. If you find some of these, you are definitely going to be in the money because these are big bucks. But yeah, look at all these spring box circles. These are incredible. Very, very cool. I knew about the wooden shaped puzzles, but I don't think I knew about the spring box circle puzzles, but maybe, um, maybe I did. And I just forgot this one right here, this Christmas house puzzle. I actually sold this one and I want to say mine sold for more than 200 and it's been probably close to a year ago that I sold mine and it sold super fast. If you see this Springbok Christmas house, this is a really hard to find puzzle and you should definitely be on the lookout. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I apologize that eBay is glitching like this and it's hard for me to do the Bolo category videos. I was able to do another one earlier today with no problems. It was just intermittently uh, freezing up, but tonight I could not get it to open up at all, as you can see. So again, let me know if you're experiencing the same problem. If you have a solution to the problem, let me know. I wonder if eBay knows this is a problem. Um, I do have a MacBook Pro and I run under Chrome to use StreamYard. So maybe it has something to do with that. I have no idea, but I would love your feedback down in the comment. It seems like it does not happen all the time. So that's at least good. But uh, if you're new here, let me know how you found the channel. Thanks for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.